Dalish prisoners escaped safely? We got them away free and clear. Good. Whatever my frustrations with them, it feels good to have helped my people again. Thank you for allowing me to help. The chance to infuriate Elganon was a reminder of simpler times. You said you found the Dalish frustrating. Why is that? It is unfair to them. I lived for thousands of years, and after I imprisoned the Evanuris, I slept for thousands more. I awoke in a world that had forgotten the ancient times almost entirely. And those who tried to remember elven history, like the Dalish, had gotten so much wrong. Like the terrible trickster Fen Harel who sealed away the gods? There was truth to their stories. My rebellion had indeed disrupted the lives of those who had been comfortable. And when I created the Veil, I destroyed an empire. Their judgments were fair, if clouded. I tried to explain the truth to one clan. When I convinced them that I was truly Fen Harel, they attacked me. After that, I hid my explanations behind the facade of having witnessed events in the Fade. And the Fade is the realm of dreams. Hard to present that as evidence. Yes. The Dalish had no reason to believe me. I could only watch as they continued to worship Elganon. Though we may have seen the last of that tradition, at least. You and Elganon were really tearing into one another back there. I needed to goad him to anger in order to distract him. Mm -hmm. But yes, while all of the Evanuris were monsters in their own ways, Elganon was the worst. Or perhaps it is more honest to say that his were the faults I found most objectionable. You have met him now, heard his voice hammering at the doors of your mind, and you have met me. Can you see how he and I might frustrate one another? He uses his power to crush any opposition. Yes. He is far more powerful than I am, and he wields that power like a graceless bludgeon. When I defeat an enemy, it is because I outsmarted them, because I was right. When he does, it is only because he was stronger. Outsmarting someone and being right aren't exactly the same thing. Aren't they? All right. I can see how you and Elganon would hate each other. He has always been what I most feared becoming. Callous and uncaring, his arrogance unchecked. To have that much power and no one to remind him that he could be wrong. Well, he had you. <laughs> and I suppose I had you. We would have had a hard time getting out of there without your help. I did not spend this long preparing you only to lose you to Elganon's machinations. Uh, no, I... I am sorry. That was poorly said. You have earned better from me. Okay. When we first met, I saw you only as a foolishly confident child who disrupted my plans. You were... an irritant. I gave you information to oppose Elganon out of necessity. But I expected you to be nothing more than a tool. Seeing you with your team, I was wrong. I appreciate you saying that. Couldn't have been easy. The only thing worse than being wrong is realizing it, but being afraid to change. Elganon's pride is no greater than mine, but he denies any failure on his part. And I at least try to acknowledge my mistakes. Your team trusts you, and you listen to them. It is impressive and enviable. It took me centuries to build such a bond during my rebellion. And when I served the Inquisition, I tried to avoid entanglements. Except for Inquisitor Lavellan. I said that I resolved to do so, not that I succeeded. She is a good woman. Growing close to her was selfish of me. Do you regret it? I live with countless regrets. Some of them I have grown to cherish more than my victories. Thank you for sharing that. So what comes next? 
What are the gods going to do? Elganan and Gilanain are preparing the dagger they will use for their ritual to pierce the veil. Elganan's power is tied to light and darkness. He will need to perform a ritual during the next eclipse. That gives us some time to prepare. It is likely to be your last chance to do so. You must be ready for whatever comes. For this world and for the team that trusts you. I know that you will do everything in your power not to fail them. So now Elganarn's recovered his own Archdemon, and the gods only need an eclipse to complete their dagger. We saved the Dalish, though. That's important. But now Elganarn's immortal, so long as his Archdemon lives. And we all know how hard those things are to kill. We killed Razakale, didn't we? After losing hundreds of Wardens, and it took a centuries-old trap to do it. We don't have either of those. Not anymore. Just when you think the tide's in your favor, it turns right back. Okay. We always knew this was going to be hard, right? And yeah, maybe it's a little harder now. More than a little. But either we stop this, or all of Thedas falls. So we see it through. All the way. Because no one else is going to. Nice speech, Rook. But it's hard to complete a contract if you don't know where the target is. We found the gods before. Not without help we didn't. So we get help again. We've got allies everywhere now. I can think of a few options, but... I'm open to suggestions. Wardens have run dry. Nothing new is moving in the deep roads. And the Veil Jumpers couldn't find any trace of Elgrenon or his Archdemon. The Crows may have something. The Antam are moving large quantities of supplies out of the city. Weapons, armor, gadlock. And several storehouses worth of food. What little we had left. It's enough to feed the Antam Navy for three months. Or all of Treviso for six weeks. Given the timing, it seems unlikely to be a coincidence. Wherever those supplies are headed, that's likely where we'll find the gods. Any more details from the crows, Lacanis? They said the Antam have long work ahead. We have time. Also, Biago would like a meeting. At your earliest convenience. From him, that means important, but not yet urgent. We've got options for what we do next. Figuring out where the Antam are taking those supplies should put us on the gods' trail. That said, the Venatori aren't up to anything good in Minrathus. Not to complicate things, but the Inquisitor also wants to meet Rook. Right. With everything she's been doing in the South, we owe her an update. I'll let her know. Today could have gone better, but it could have gone much worse. We fought off the Venatori and rescued the Dalish. That's a win by any standard. Rest up. And be ready to go. Next time the gods appear, let's make sure it's the last. No, no. I had to kill a man once who did blood magic on nugs. A hundred little pigs with hands came after me. All together in one big writhing ball. Have you ever tried to stab a ball of angry nugs? That was a bad job. I've got a better one. You know what the Wandering Hills are named for? 
is a monster. Big heap of red tentacles that crawls around, devouring everything in its path. The damn thing was a hillside, the eyes of a village. You try fighting a hill with a sword sometime. How did you kill it? Lamp oil. Everything stank of burnt tentacles for miles after. If the two of you were going to open a bottle, you might have told me first. It's not a good bottle. Might have to pick up a supply. I have a feeling we'll need it. Is anyone else hungry? Maybe I should cook something. What about you, Rook? What's the worst job you've ever been on? Nevin Harding didn't tell you about our hunt for Solus, then? They don't tell it the way you would. I mean, it ended with the Elven God of Lies in my head. Is that enough to win the worst job contest? You joining us then? Fine. I'll cook something, if Rook's staying. Maybe just for a minute. Rook's story first. Then Lucanus owes me one about this contract on a Bronto. Mierda. That Bronto. Thanks for the tip off. Got people clear before. You spend far too much time here, Dorian. This is where all my favorite people are. And besides, I have news. And every messenger bird I've met is dreadful at nuance. Magister Parvus, it's good to see you again. At least someone appreciates my presence. You're our eyes in the Magisterium. If someone spots you here... Yes, yes, I know. Can't be spotted with the Shadow Dragons. You worry too much, May. Well, what do you have for us? The cult lost people in Arlathan. And leadership has fallen to Knight Commander Lenos. He aims to bring the city to its knees. But Minrathus is already falling apart. I know. While the Varantis' attack on the city could have been much worse, the people's fear in the aftermath is palpable. And the rumors about the Archon are true. He's dead. Assassinated during the Dragon's Rampage. The palace has tried to keep the news from spreading until a new Archon steps up. And no one has? No one dares. Not with the Venatori circling like vultures. The Risen Gods are preparing for something big. And for that, they need fear. Chaos. Just tell me how I stop them. What are they planning? That's the problem. I don't know. But we'll find out. Lenos is the key to all of it. First we stop what he's planning for Menrathus. And then we find out what the gods are preparing for. Let's hope it stays that simple. One of Lenos' Venatori associates is often at the Cobbled Swan. Let's see what we can get from him. We? Dorian, you can't be going yourself. It's the Swan. Everyone goes to the swan. I'll head out right now. How well do you know Mavaris? By reputation, she's been a prominent politician for a long time, and a hero to boot. We don't work together much, but from what I've seen, she's earned the good name. We probably shouldn't keep Dorian waiting too long. The 
These meetings can't be good for business. I'm here, Inquisitor. It isn't just Inquisitor, is it? You were someone before that. Clan Lavellan. We try to be no one you've heard of. Morrigan is holding a perimeter. We're alone. Tell me what Solus did at Elganon's ritual. Sounds like you already know. I need to hear it from you. Elganon raised his archdemon. Solus got us out of there. We saved a lot of people. You sound grateful. Why not? He really did help. It seems so. He's always thinking about where it ends. How many of his names do you know? God of Lies, Dreadwolf, Fenharel. They're titles he earned from enemies, followers, and fractured history. He and I shared another name. Venan. Elven for heart. For my heart. You've spoken to him in your dreams. You felt the power of that mind. His love could burn against me like a bonfire. He seemed so kind, and wise, and sad, and looked at me as if I somehow mattered more than anything around us. For a time, I thought I would have followed anywhere he asked me to. Did he try to get you to come with him on his quest to tear down the veil? No. In fact, you forbade me to join him. He said he didn't want me to see what he would become. But that wasn't quite the truth. <laughs> He's a terrible liar. He's the god of lies, Inquisitor. Tricks and treachery, yes. Lies of the heart? No. He forbade me to join him because I might have changed his mind. And then he left enough clues for us to follow anyway. Hold on. You think he wanted you to stop him? His name is Solus. It means pride. Perhaps he couldn't change his mind himself and hoped that someone else could help him. Or maybe... I'm the prideful one. Imagining his broken heart so that I never have to face my folly. That I loved someone who made such grave mistakes. That I might love him still. You almost sound like you're ready to join him in that prison in the Fade. To give up the world for him? No. We've got to save it first. But after? If there were a way? If he felt the same? If I could leave the world behind and just have him? I don't know. He really made you happy. Yes. He really did. Well, you deserve to be happy. As long as he's not, you know, trying to tear down the veil again. That would put a dampener on things, yes. This is all hypothetical anyway. He's trapped in the Fade with no way out. He's surprised us before. But enough about me. Tell me about you and Harding. What? Who? How? Morrigan has eyes everywhere. Of course she does. It's really great what the Shadow Dragons are doing for the city. Still too many people here, though. For me, at least. We probably shouldn't keep Dorian waiting too long. There's Dorian. There's Lenos's associate. According to the Shadows watching him, he's nervous and doesn't talk much, but does odd jobs for coin. Interesting, yes? I'll draw him off, you check his belongings. See if you can discover any clues about Lenos's plan. Mostly gone. Warm. I don't even know what this is. Hell? Looks like he's been... A bedroll. It's definitely seen better days. And it's damp. Sleeping. 
anything up? Half eaten stale bread, water flask, muddy socks, and this map. Minrathus targets. That doesn't sound good. This all sounds like trouble. What are you poking about in there Gloria, for? I want to know. Enjoy. Lenos intends to destroy the city with Blight and Darkspawn. Carthus. Nothing like an attack to cause chaos in a city. You should head there immediately. All right, let's go. I command it! Attack! <laughs> <laughs> Something tore through these gates. Something big. Watch out! Dark swarms want to approve against 
Get along. More blight in the way. That did it. Even more. How are there so many? Here we go. Everything's crumbling down here. Might be tricky to get out. At least a dozen people have been lost trying to map this place. But I've mentioned that. Still blocked. There's another boil somewhere. Find the blight boils. We need to clear the way and keep pushing. We got it. Way should be clear. Look around. See what we find. The Risen God's Ritual. What the gods in the Venatorium are there for. Manos' documents. They detail the Venatorium's long-term plans, what they want to do to Devinta. These star charts predict an eclipse to make magic stronger. So that's the play. A ritual performed under an eclipse to strengthen its power. 
all this. The ritual, the eclipse, and the venatory plans. We have to bring this to the Shadow Dragons immediately. We should tell the Shadow Dragons what we found. Evil old gods, rituals, waiting for the stars. It's about as Tevinter as blood magic and hubris. Learning about the gods' plans is wonderful, of course. But the lists of magisters you've got your hands on. Now there's the real gold. You've looked at it already. Of course you have. Information on their backers, the ties to illegal slavery. Don't you see what this means? This is power, May. Imagine becoming Archon and using this against those who've been hurting the people for years. You on the throne? Dorian. Tell me that wouldn't be a splendid way to bring about real change. Changing to Vinter, helping people. If we can get something good out of all this, I'm for it. You've given us an opening, Rook. And believe me, we shall seize upon it. But how would you use this information exactly? Dorian wants to use it to crush our enemies by whatever means necessary. I prefer to use it to rally the people. I say we make the information known. Allow the people to see the real justice served. Prove that from now on, we work for them. We tried that already. Or have you forgotten the Lucerni? I no longer trust that political machine will work in our favor. No. We must get at the root of the problem before they can react. A more forceful approach. Destroy them and their networks utterly. Swords and spies and blackmail? The devious means you learned in the South? If we go outside the system, we invite everyone else to do the same. No, we have to do this in the open. Show the people of Tevinter that we're here for them. We're Shadow Dragons. It's right there in the name. You supported this because you knew the system didn't work for the people. The point was to work in the shadows until we could work in the light. And Rook has brought us what we need. May, the Imperium's politics burned you once and you still... Enough. We're not the only ones who have a stake in this. Rook, you have been instrumental in all this. Which strategy do you prefer? Dorian, are you really suggesting violent revolution? Not necessarily. Sometimes a mere threat of violence is sufficient. He learned that from his friends in the South. I hear Ferelden settled the succession crisis with a duel. It worked. Astoundingly. We're not Ferelden. I'm merely saying we need to consider bold and creative methods of achieving our ends. The game is rigged. Why play by rules crooked magisters already exploit? Clear the board and start over. If they're gone, we can fill the magisterium with those who respect the office. Then we'll actually see progress. You want me to choose who will be Archon? But I'm not even from here. I can't decide. Then talk to the ones who are. See what they say. Asher and Tarquin, Nev, Gallus, they're all a part of this, just as you are. We should all be comfortable with whatever course we take. All right. I'll go do that. Grand news about Lenos. One less crooked Templar in town. The city will be better off with him gone. We can hope. Lenos made my life miserable. Rana's too. I hear he started out different. Maybe he once cared about something other than gold. But I didn't know that, Lenos. And I'm not gonna mourn the one I did. Still, I'll thank the bastard for writing everything down. And delivering it to us all neat. Dorian and Mavaris still have to decide what to do with everything we got from Lenos. I just don't know enough about Tevinta to know what's best for its people. I suspect this decision will determine Tevinter's path for years to come. Then Dorian's way is my choice. He knows you don't stop to talk when you find a hole in the enemy's defenses. Dorian is a brash rebel. And Mavaris too much of a romantic. 
I think the people will appreciate Mavaris returning as the leader they've always wanted to see. No. They'll appreciate their lives actually changing for the better. What do you think might happen, depending on who leads? With May, she gets power back again. Gets one more shot at changing to Vincent from the top down. Worst that could happen is nothing. But that's what you risk when all you rely on is hope. But with Dorian... We could get chaos, strife. Things might get harder before they get easier. If they get easier. I'll take my chances. This is not helping. At all. If I'd known you wanted help, I wouldn't have said anything. Quinn. What? Opinions are cheap. Sometimes you just have to go where you go. I have faith, Rook. Still not helpful. So, what do you think? Lenos is gone. We got information about the Venatori's plans, the gods' ritual. I'd call that a good day. I meant about my Varys and Dorian. We all want change. Who will be more effective in getting it? Oh, that. You're dragging me into it? You're the famed detective. What's the right call? This isn't a murder. Politics is murder. Isn't that what they always say? Mavaris Talani has been in this game for decades. She's dedicated and ruthless when she needs to be. Dorian Parvis is a wild card. Flashy and inventive, he'll keep his enemies on their toes. But if you're asking me, I'd go with Mavaris. She'll inspire people, show them that the Magisterium can be better than it is. Right now, after the gods and everything else, that's what this city needs, what we all need. Thanks, Nev. That helps. That's what I'm here for. Maker. A full quarter of the Magisterium supporting a cult. Bending the knee to these risen old gods just for a taste of more power. Can they not see their only tools for the gods? So they can destroy the world? Demanding intelligence, rationality, and self-awareness from our peers. <laughs> you ask too much, Mavaris. <laughs> Look at me. Such a fool. Ah, it's Rook. Uh, you spoke with the others. What do you think? Who should be leading the charge from here on? Mavaris should lead. I will not squander the opportunity. That is my promise to you all. And May will have my full support, of course. For when enemies get in our way. They will. It is to Vinter, after all. The Risen Gods are still causing chaos. The people will need your voice to keep them fighting. Oh, they will fight. This city has strength enough to stand against any so-called gods. We will win the day, and after that, we will win a brighter to Vinter for all of us. That venatory stunt with the darkspawn has me dreading. What's to come? Warden training to. My uncle once saw the Byland. Yes, Lorelei. Heard about that damn night commander. Good riddance.
Till next time.